Okay, you're on. Hi, my name is Carmen, and I'm here to talk today about BCAP, which stands for Breast Cancer Awareness Program. Uh, I was first diagnosed with breast cancer in November of 2012, and uh, the company that I worked for at the time was kind of a small mom and pop place, and word sped, spread really fast that I had breast cancer. And a gentleman came in to eat one day and uh, gave a business card to my manager at the time. And he told my manager that if I ever had any problems, if I ever needed anything, to call this number on the business card. And the business card was a BCAP number. And at the time, my husband had a really good job. We had great insurance. And so I just kind of put that business card in my purse. Uh, several months later, I was sitting having some drinks with another friend and uh, girl Teresa walked up to us while we were having a conversation. She's like, you don't know me, but I represent BCAP and here's a business card. If you ever need any help paying any of your bills or if you need anything, just give us a call. And at that time, my husband still was doing very well. We had insurance, everything was going just great. And then August of last year, my husband was unexpectedly laid off and everything just crumbled. I had, I had done very well in my treatment. Everything was going positive. My prognosis was good. Our family was doing okay and well and this, that, and the other. And I remember when my husband called to tell me that he had been laid off, I had a brief pity party. I cried for about four hours. Then, you know, by the time evening came along, I sucked it up and I said in the morning, I'm going to get on the phone. And the next morning I called BCAP, I believe Diane Smith answered the phone and she was very kind, very understanding. And she said, we don't judge, I'm sending you some paperwork. And right away she sent out some paperwork. I filled out everything and they helped us with our bills and my husband's transition from being working to unemployed to going back to work. This organization raises money to help women and their families pay their bills when there's no other way to pay them. I was working part-time at the time, which wouldn't even pay anything. And at the end of the day, they do amazing things for Green Country. I think they originally started out in Tulsa, but it has expanded to where they'll help women and men if, if, if they ever need to help a man. But typically, it's it's you know a, a women's thing, and they they've helped tons of women. They have raised tons of money, and it really helps if you see BCAP breast cancer awareness thing on any fundraising thing. It's a really grassroots foundation, and it really improved my life. It kept a roof over my head. It kept our lights on. Kept the water running, and they they just do some amazing things. I've stayed friends with them. They still call and check up on me. <laughs> Even at Christmas time, they brought us like a basket with some toys for the girls. And it's just an amazing organization that will do a lot of good things. And you're good. And what on your? Let me ask you this, Carmen. On on um, that was great telling what they do. That's wonderful. Okay. What do you want the fans to know? Women out there that might be thinking about this getting checked, maybe women that um, you know, might find themselves in the same situation, what do you want them to know, not just about BCAP, but what about you, if you were talking to them friend to friend, let's say they got diagnosed, or let's, okay. say, they, okay. let's say they haven't, but they, you know, stuff that you okay. weren't aware of before that now that you've gone through it, that you yeah. know now. Okay, and that is something I can add. I have always been diligent and get my mammograms. I got a mammogram, my first mammogram was on my 40th birthday. I was very diligent in getting a mammogram every year in the month of my birthday. I do feel like that mammogram saved my life. I also have friends that will tell me that they haven't had a mammogram in two years or three years or I've never had a mammogram. I will stay on them until they go get their mammogram. It's something that you've got to do and for me, I, my cancer, I had three small tumors. They were very, very small. If I hadn't have been so faithful in getting my mammograms, my prognosis wouldn't be as well as it is today. I feel that whenever I first found out I had cancer, once again, there's a little pity party there. It didn't last very long. 
I'm more of, you can tell me what the problem is, but I need to focus on the solution. I think every woman that, you know, is, is diagnosed, it, it is devastating. But there is a solution and you can, with your doctors, you can figure it out and your prognosis will turn out very well. Now, for me, it, it would be easy to be consumed with fear and second guessing, you know, have I done the right thing, have I ate the right thing. Um, but if you get consumed in all that fear and all that regret and all that second guessing, it can run your life. You really need to keep that attitude positive. You need to move forward, find the solution, hold your head up, and just, just seize every day. I could.